what do you do with a cake that's just sitting in your house after? Uh, like yeah, it's so tempting just to like eat eat the cake because it's there like or whatnot. Rebecca's like, well, I'll tell you what I did, and just like completely straight face, she's like, I put it in the trash and then I put washing detergent on it. Or uh, <laughs> dish soap. <laughs> or something. To yes. avoid eating the cake. To avoid eating the cake. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh, I just, yeah, sure. Just throw dish soap on it. That'll do it. Welcome to the Hail Fitness Podcast, episode 100. Uh, Woo! I am here with Coach Katie. Hi. Coach Wendy. What's up? Coach Rebecca. Hello. And Coach Christina. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and I am Coach Jay. Uh, so we're going to ask a bunch of questions. We're going to review some of the other podcasts, and we're just going to uh, have a good time on this one. So what I thought was we would talk a little bit about some of your favorite episodes from previous podcasts, and I thought that it would be a good chance for some of the audience to get to know the coaches. So I have a bunch of questions for you uh, that you can... That, you can answer so we can get to know you a little bit more. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's do it. Bring it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's start with, uh, this is 100 episodes. Yes. This actually started back in 2015, if you believe it or wow. not. Wow. Crazy. It. So 2015, we started this, and it was like, I don't remember, just me talking to random people. I think it was uh, more of an interview show back mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. and uh, I would interview uh, members. I would interview my wife. I would interview Heidi. Uh, I even went over to London, interviewed a couple of the coaches over there. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and it actually wasn't terrible. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not as fun as it is now, but it wasn't. It wasn't bad. So, what, what I thought we would do is go I just around pulled and pull a stranger off the street and was like, "Hey." <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun. Um, so, I, you know, I wanted to kind of talk through some of my most memorable moments. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just share one and then maybe y'all can share one as well. Yeah. So um, one of my favorites really early on was, uh, I remember Tina used to come on the podcast, my wife, and when we, whenever we did a video, she would like do all of her makeup. We were talking about that before. So she, she did all of her makeup and she'd have all, like a long list of like prepared notes for like a 12 minute podcast. And I remember, uh, I remember telling her like, hey, you know, like we're just going to have a casual conversation and she'd show up like looking like she's going to the ball with tw <laughs> 12 pages of notes, whatever. And the one thing she the one thing that stood out, we were talking about coming back from pregnancy, which is something there's like five episodes about that now. Mm -hmm. And one of the things she said was when after she had a baby, it wasn't like oh, I'm just going to go back to the gym. It was like, how long can I delay actually getting back in shape? And she kept going to Starbucks and getting croissants and that kind of thing. And she had this line. She said, um, stretch pants always fit. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of my first uh, yes. early favorite moments. <laughs> Rebecca, what, what, what is one of your favorite moments from the first 100 episodes? Yeah, so it's, it's also with Tina. And okay. it also is about coming back from pregnancy <laughs> except it was you know i haven't been here since 2015 so i don't know let's just say it was 2021 um and i was at home so it must have been shortly after we opened and we did the the podcast on ecamm or whatever so it was going to be on video and i got the whole setup i had the cameras alex helped me with the sound i guess tina I Got ready. Yep. <laughs> on the makeup. I probably maybe combed my hair. Um, and the, so first, my camera just like would not come into focus. And then as soon as we start, I just hear like a leaf blower going at, at your house. Because she's at your, your yes, house. Yes, that's right. And it's like every time we would try to talk, it's just... Yeah, that was the moment the gardener comes by once a month. Yeah. And that was the moment. Yeah. So, I mean, we powered through it. And I was just, you know, that was back when you were, I think, trying to turn all the podcasts into videos and content. And I'm like, all right, I got ready for this. And it was, I crushed it. And I remember following up, like, maybe a couple of weeks later. And you're just like, oh, yeah, we couldn't use any of that footage. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. Well, that was, that was great. 
Um, that happens. That's happened quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's, a, um, it's actually a miracle that we've done like what another f- 15, 20 of the last podcast. We've used them all. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's the upgrade, the lighting and such. So yeah, yeah that was memorable. Um, and it was just a great talk. So we we do have the audio. Oh yes. Well, yeah. pl- <laughs> plug. This is where the banner. Yeah. What plugs episode? The episode. Is that? Click the link below (laughs) to listen to that episode. (laughs) All right. So I kind of want to keep going through some of the moments, but I have a question for you because I want the people to know a little bit about you. All right. So if you were on a TV show, this is for everyone, what TV show would you be on and who would you be? Mm, I'd have my own TV show, reality (laughs) show. They would follow me around. (laughs) Huh. You had that answer on deck, That's like you've great. been thinking about it for That's years. So good. <laughs> I think I have a pretty good reality show. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yep. You Here's me, me on the couch. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. You're like you told me you don't leave your house. <laughs> Here's me reading a book. Yeah. <laughs> but so many funny interactions though at home with the dog, with the kid, with the husband, man. Sounds, All right, guys. I love it. All right. Like a page turner. <laughs> <laughs> or a channel turner. A cha- yeah. <laughs> Actually, you can watch that kind of comedy on my show. <laughs> All right. What, what show would you, what show would y'all be on? What would it be? What would your character be? <clears throat> Do you guys remember a squid game? Yes. Oh, <laughs> what? wow. Yeah. Isn't that the yes. one where they kill each other? Okay. I'll be the winner. <laughs> wow. Oh, All right. My goodness. That That's dude had to crazy. kill his best friend at the yeah, end. Dude. No, <laughs> you might have to kill your sister or As something. I scoot over. <laughs> yeah. Shit, that was dark. I don't know. I know. Yeah. You don't know your coworkers. Uh, like you think. actually, no. I I feel like that's pretty <laughs> accurate. <laughs> If there was a squid, like, if someone just yelled squid game, she'd start murdering us right now. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe I should make a difference. Let's think, let me think about this. She was thinking about it before the podcast as we were teasing her. She's like the purge. (laughs) She's the purge. Let me think about it. Let me think about that question. (laughs) All right, Christina, do you have a show? I do. Uh, I would be Natty on Euphoria. Oh. I fucking love Natty. Oh man, I love her. I would die I for her. I would be friends with her. I want her, yes. Her yeah. attitude, her yeah. confidence, yeah. her wardrobe and makeup. Oh my yeah. God. I would be her friend. I would Absolutely. be her friend. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Mm. That's good. I've never, I've, I'm afraid to watch that show, so I haven't seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> really good but yeah you shouldn't watch it <laughs> yeah <laughs> you absolutely should <laughs> no i have an 11 year old i'm good <laughs> well, that's why it comes on late no it's 11 year old almost teenage yeah I girl feel like he would i'm get, not interested yeah he would totally get freaked out i think yeah because okay. he has a I, teen coming i wouldn't up, let so. her leave the house yeah 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 yeah. We'll yeah all right what do you got katie well I don't know any of these shows. And <laughs> this question forces me to pull from the three shows I think I have watched <laughs> in the last 10 years. So we're choosing between Survivor, which I do want to be on. Oh, there you go. There we go. We'll as go with Survivor. As as but I want to know. One of the contestants. <laughs> exactly. You would not yeah. be a dead. Survivor. <laughs> I would just be dead. She's like, oh, I thought it was literal. Literal. <laughs> Survivor. Just Great. Like, yeah. No, just breaking yeah. off branches and beating people to death. <laughs> <laughs> She's just drowning people in the ocean. I don't know what happened to for Katie. The, it's time for the town council. <laughs> Where is everyone? It's just Wendy. Oh, that makes it easy. I don't know. They all got voted off the island. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should have had cameras on me. Damn, I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh, I want to know what those God. other two shows are, though. <laughs> well, we've got the Great British Baking Show. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. That's actually Which, a good one. Yeah. It's so good, but I definitely wouldn't be on it because I can't bake worth anything. Yeah, half the people there can't bake, so that's not that's not bad. No, I mean, no, they they're like they're bread. like can't bake, but they do. You should watch the celebrity stuff. one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what was the third one? That one, uh, Taskmaster. Which is a British comedy show with a bunch of comedians, so I probably wouldn't be on that one either. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> How about you, Jay? Um, yep. I would probably be uh, Walter White 
in uh, Breaking uh, Bad. Ah, yeah. Oh. That one's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I can and see that. And you're worried about euphoria? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hey, he was, he's also a killer, too, so I don't know. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. look, I, hey, if it, were, if it came down to Squid Game, it would probably be you and me. <laughs> uh, I don't have this drop tattoo for nothing. <laughs> All right, Wendy, what was your favorite moment from uh, early podcasts? Yeah, my favorite one was probably Heidi's, the one that you did with Heidi, when she talks about how... Um, she had um, like an injury and she thought she would never was able to squat like below parallel. Mm. The very first time that you, she worked out with you, she said that and you're like, nope, you're going to squat below parallel. And you <laughs> had her squat below parallel. <laughs> so that was actually pretty, pretty cool to see. Cause when I first met Heidi, when I, when I first joined the gym, like all I saw was a white girl doing pull-ups and I was like, I want to be her. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be her. I want to be her. So like for me to hear that, you know, she actually started beginning just like or beginner just like I did was pretty cool. So yeah. that was a really good podcast. The telling of this story it doesn't paint me in a great light as a coach. Like, you can't squat below parallel. Bullshit. Do it. Like that's not actually what happened. What happened was I said, hey, sit down on this bench. And she did it. And I said, stand up. And she did it. And I said, oh, OK, great. Let's pull the bench away. Let's see how that goes. And then she she did that. And it was like, oh. Well, like the mm-hmm. thing that the take or the big thing that kind of popped was that she actually worked with a previous pr- trainer. Yeah. Right. That basically didn't make her squat all the way down. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that that kind of just kind of caught my eye. Like, oh, OK. Yeah. So that, that was, was a really good was, podcast. That was day one. Yeah. That was day one. Yeah. yeah that was, also, that was I love that you're really concerned about uh what people might think of you as a coach after saying that you would be Walter White. <laughs> Just pointing that out. I, you know, okay, fine. Fair enough. Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who knocks. See, this is when yeah. I would go to my confessional and like talk about you guys. Like, these people are crazy. <laughs> what tell you this? That's what I'm saying. It's a great and when show. And you bust in with I a knife. Know, it's like a great reality show. Like, these characters. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Okay, so I, I um, I have I have another one actually. Since Rebecca mentioned that, um, I, this is not really a single moment, but I'm I'm just I've gone back and listened to some of the recent episodes, and I gotta say that every Rebecca story is like almost my favorite moment of each of the episodes because they're just so kind of random, and I actually feel like this story about the uh, reality show is gonna continue. <laughs> <laughs> through, through the rest of this podcast. So I think every Rebecca story is uh, my favorite of the latest podcasts. Oh, nice. Yeah. Katie, what about you? Well, speaking of Rebecca stories, so one of my favorites <laughs> was, I don't even remember what the topic of the podcast was, but we ended up on some topic where it was like, what do you do with a cake that's just sitting in your house after, uh, you know, like yeah, it's you, so tempting just to like eat, eat the cake because it's there or whatnot. And Rebecca's like, well, I'll tell you what I did. And just like completely straight face, she's like, I put it in the trash and then I put washing detergent on it or uh, <laughs> dish soap <laughs> or something. To avoid is, eating the cake. To avoid eating the cake. Yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, yeah, sure. Just throw dish soap on it. That'll do it. And then we were like, great, throw dish soap on it, put it in a trash can, lay it on fire. And it just became this whole like visual in my mind of like what you could possibly do with an old cake. Anything to not eat it. Yeah. Well, I threw away chocolate earlier because someone brought it into the gym and it is still sitting out in that garbage without soap on it. So, <laughs> so somebody and one of them go is get in that a wrapper. Dip-tee. So yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to buy into this reality show, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Just still thinking about that chocolate. <laughs> um, all right. So so Christina. Yeah. Would you uh, would you rather win the lottery or win a Nobel Prize, and why? Hmm, that's a good question. I mean, winning the lottery feels like a huge relief. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like instant gratification, and like Nobel Prize. I have mixed feelings about it. I feel like, obvi- like I would imagine that I worked towards something, but also like. I'm that kind money. of anti like big establishment awards and uh, mm. 
Yeah. The lottery is <laughs> lottery's bigger than the Nobel. <laughs> it's okay to say you want the money. Yeah. What What would yeah. you say, Wendy? I'll get the money. Yeah, the money. <laughs> yes, I will get the money. I mean, I would. No, I would get that money. I was trying to think of something. <laughs> no, I would take Katie? the money. Katie, definitely Nobel Prize. Why? Because all I ever want is for my life to mean something. And if I've won the Nobel Prize, then chances are I did something that made my life somewhat meaningful. Mm, wow. Yeah. I would take my ass to the beach in Spain when I was a kid. <laughs> and I would like hire, you know, a great tutor for my son so he can win the Nobel Prize. And then I will feel like a provider. So with what'd all you, my money. What what did you decide? The lottery, Christina? I'm, I'm gonna win the lottery and do something with the money so I can earn a Nobel Prize. <laughs> there we go. Mm. That's that's really solid, Christina. <laughs> Don't I just, Jay's, Jay's face does not didn't you just agree. shit on the Nobel Prize? I thought you didn't want one of those. Sometimes, so, you, sometimes you do shit on things that you actually kind of sort of want, you know? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I, I thought that, Katie. So, um, so you may not know this, but when you win the Nobel Prize, you also get a million dollars. So I'm taking the prize. Mm-hmm. You get what would you win well. for? I don't know, something great. Podcasting? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the podcasting Nobel Prize. Hey, you were asking for an Emmy for your show earlier. <laughs> so <laughs> you sound like you're judging my Nobel Prize. <laughs> I won that shit. All you did was pick some numbers. <laughs> well, it would be like that um, that guy from uh, Christmas Story where they like pack it all up and then he opens it up and it's. You know, like a lantern. Mm. Never mind. Anyways. The leg. The leg, yes. All right. So favorite moments. Uh, favorite moments from the podcast. What else you got? Um, I don't think Christina. Have you shared Christina? I haven't. Okay. I'm still thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have one. Okay. So one of my other favorites was when we were talking about the daily routines of like, here's what each person does. This is relatively recently. And, um, and... We this ended up sparking the great shower debate of 2023, oh, yeah. which is like hotly divided of like, do you shower in the morning or do you shower in the afternoon? Which carried basically no, like throughout not afternoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind Slow. of crazy person showers in the afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> See, when you go to bed before the sun sets, everything is afternoon. Um, anyway, long story short, but like this carried through to like the entire gym ended up choosing sides mm-hmm. of like, mm-hmm. it was like a very hot debate. Like 4.30 p.m. crew was like really intense about their a.m. or p.m. showering habits. So. Yeah. So what was the, so who PM. won? Who Evening. Won? No, consensus is definitely morning. It's no. better. <laughs> oh, God. No. Like, no. <laughs> no what is it for you, Christina? Evening. Yeah, evening. Wendy? Morning. Yeah. 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 Morning. Okay. Morning. morning. Yeah. We know what you do. Don't shower. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so the morning morning versus evening shower. Here's a question. So you get on a plane and you get to wherever you're going, hotel, Airbnb. Do you take a shower before you go to bed in your hotel? What, regardless of time. Uh, I, w- I probably would. Like whatever time it is of day. I'm, I mean, like, do you shower off the airport? I guess is what I'm asking. I do. Because it's yeah, disgusting. I do have a habit into like showering when I get to it. See, not showering at night reminds me of not showering after an airport. It's oh. like you got to get the This is like the day out. It's a go. funny thing. Um, I feel like the rest of us are kind of like meh. And you are extremely yeah. passionate yeah. about this. Yeah. Yeah. Passionate about my showering. Yeah. Yeah. The faces you're making, I'm just like, shit, all right, I'll shower in the evening. This is when I go, this is when I go in my confessional. I'm like, these guys are disgusting. <laughs> Pigs. What about hair washing? Do you believe in washing your hair every day? I, oh, God, no. No, yeah, no. So I recently learned about my hair texture and all that stuff. You're not supposed to wash your hair every day. Uh-uh. There is certain products that you can use to you know, keep it clean, but it's actually bad for you. Yeah, washing it's it really every day. Yeah, yeah it's How? really bad. How often do you yeah, wash your hair? Twice a week. Mm-hmm. Oh. Same, same, same here. Yeah, twice a month. <laughs> Once a month. Guys Once are a month. heathens. Yeah. 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 What about you? Every day. Uh, huh. Because I have a eucalyptus scented shampoo. Oh, okay. like, yeah, it's so wonderful. Get a eucalyptus scented <sighs> candle. Eucalyptus. <laughs> 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 Not the same. <laughs> All but right. Hurt. Okay. <laughs> Way off topic. 
<laughs> not, not really, actually. Um, all right. So what talent are you most proud of? What talent do you have that you are most proud of? Get to know your coaches. What talent do you have that you're most proud of? Good question. Christina looks like she has an answer. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I, I got one. All right. Um, I, I'm into art, so I like drawing. Mm. Actually, I oh, fun fact, one of my high school projects that I did was actually in um, a, uh, oh, my God, what do you call it, a gallery. And I won, like, 200 bucks for it. Wow. wow. I still have it, too. So mm. it was actually one of the top um, art pieces. Oh, from, amazing. Yeah, so it was at the Richmond Gallery for like I think three months. Oh, nice. And there was like donations, and I got two hundred bucks from it. And I was nice. like seventeen when I when I did that. So we gotta get some of your art in here. Yeah, yeah. I really, really love in uh, love drawing. More into paint. Um, water paint is more that I'm like. I actually have a. a um, I drew my face. Yeah, it, well, it's not the, the best, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I think I'm more into like water paint for sure. Yeah, um, it's it's decent, Did but I have you know. The big eye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were doing a cow. The stinky eye. Yeah, yeah, I was doing a cow. I never finished. Oh. You never, I know it's still there. Poor, poor cow. Um, but yeah, those those that's one of the ta- talents I think people most people we don't gotta know. get those on the walls. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What ta- so you're just gonna have to pick a random one then if you don't have one. What talent are you I most know proud the, of? The names of the states in alphabetical order. <laughs> and I could say it really fast. <laughs> Go. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, <laughs> Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North and South Carolina. North Dakota, South Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, West Virginia, Washington, Wisconsin, Wyoming. <laughs> wow, wow! Let's go! Wow. <laughs> How many times a day do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it was a song that we learned when I was a child. So there's a tune, and I just have always remembered it. That's, so, that's great. That's solid. Wow. So, yeah, if you ever need to know the Woo. states. Just replay the podcast there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or watch the reality show. <laughs> Katie, what about you? Uh, talent would be probably climbing trees. Mm-hmm. Did that for a lot of years. And so what comes along with that is like uh, tying knots. Ooh, mm. that's good. I can hoist things. That's great. <laughs> Very far into a canopy. Um, you have impeccable aim. No, that's good. It's so good. I learned how to tie knots once, and I was really bad. So yeah. I admire you being good. Yeah, that's that would probably be it. Like yeah. I remember trying to learn, and I was crying because I couldn't. I was getting so frustrated that I couldn't do it, and everyone was doing it and making fun of me. And I was that's like, rough. I can't do it. Yeah, I always love being that like the friend that somebody could call if they like need somebody to wield a chainsaw. That always made me feel oh. good. Yeah. So mm, mm, maybe you wouldn't know. win Squid Game. Yeah, I don't think um. you would, honestly. <laughs> All right, Christina, what's what's the talent? Um I'm a really good cook. Like to the oh, point where yeah. I have my meals at lunch and I'm like just sitting there by myself and I'm like Dang, this is really good. <laughs> like, wow, Christina, you did a really good job. That's like, what she's thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> she's just in the corner nodding to herself. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Here, these are my affirmations. You did a great cut. <laughs> this, you that took your time. Totally. That is good. That's a great That's talent to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, uh, mine, is, mine is guitar, and only because I picked it up like only a few years ago, and I'm still not very good, but... I'm better than I was a few years ago, and I can play this. I can play some songs that I like, which is awesome. That was the whole goal. So oh, I'm very, cool. very proud of that. Cool. All right, moments, more moments from the first 100 episodes. So you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, Roberto. If we have the video, we're gonna have him put the videos mm. in here. So nice, right? Or some of the audio anyway. So I remember a podcast that you and I did, um, and. We sat down and we're going to talk. You're like, we're going to talk about imposter syndrome. And here are my three (laughs) points or something. And the whole time I'm in my head, I'm like, this is not imposter. This is not the definition of imposter. How do I tell him? And finally, I'm just like, I don't know if I can do this because I don't even remember what we talked about, quite frankly. Uh, But you're like, it's fine. No one will know. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> like, all right, we're just going to title something that isn't exactly what we're talking about, but cool. So, have you looked at the titles of our podcast? This podcast is about the 98th episode because we're just stating random facts. I don't know. That one didn't fall. Back. Cut that one. Cut yeah. that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I went back and listened to uh, the interview with Coach Wendy. The first interview with Coach Wendy, which I would highly recommend you listen to because she she sometimes acts like she's nervous, but you kind of killed it even on the first interview. And the quote that I got from there was just really funny. It was like, your mom told you, you, you were like not doing anything. And your mom said to you, if you're going to eat hot Cheetos, you got to do some running. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then you got into soccer or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> so fun fact, my mom is actually the one who, I guess you can say the 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 one who started with like me and my sisters like being like into fitness. Mm. She was like the role model. She actually um, got uh, a membership at 24. She was actually the first person who, at the house, it was her who started. Oh, and then yeah. me and my sister were like, dang, okay, mom, get it. I think we need to get it together and get a membership. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she, you know, she pushed me and my sister to actually also joined. But yeah, she she basically said you have to earn your hot Cheetos if you want some. Nice. Wow. <laughs> and I did. I did. So that's the only reason also too why I joined the soccer team because of that. Because <laughs> I wanted hot Cheetos. And at that point my allowance was very small so I didn't want to waste my money on hot Cheetos every day. So she would buy them for me. Do you think hot Cheetos will sponsor us now? Maybe. They should. Yeah. When's just, the last time you had hot Cheetos? Um, oh, when I was pregnant with Weston. Oh, yeah, okay. I actually crave them. Yeah, yeah. So about like a year, a year ago, maybe. But I can't, I can't handle hot yeah, Cheetos right fit, now. Fit your <laughs> no. <macros>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Any, 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 any other favorite moments from the podcast that you remember? Uh, I don't have a specific moment, but I remember like the first podcast, like when you would interview people. Mm -hmm. And I just remember feeling like, I don't, it really humanized them and like versus just like a face in the gym or somebody I saw in passing, I was like, oh yeah, like this person really did like, you know, they faced this adversity and, um, I don't know, for me, it just made me feel like closer, more connected to them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, I really appreciated that. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. I love that. Yeah. So speaking of getting closer, more connected, uh, what is the most rebellious thing you did as a child, Christina? <laughs> oh lord <laughs> i have this story uh and i don't remember how old i was but i was definitely like maybe f first grade second grade the, the oldest and i have an older brother and an older sister and we would just go at it like we would fight and one time my mom came home and the way she's explained she explains it she said that we looked like a dust storm. Like we were just all <laughs> fighting each other. And my mom, like literally the first thing she comes to and uh, she like grabs my brother, and my sister, and she spanks them. And I watch this. I literally, literally run to the bathroom and lock myself in because oh I do gosh. not want to get spanked. <laughs> and then I just fell asleep in the bathroom. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> and I knew I was like, well, when dad comes home, he's not going to let her spank me. So I just waited. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and I did not get spanked. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, wow. wow. All right. What is the most rebellious thing y'all did as a child? Um, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually did not come home for a week. Wow. wow. Were you Dang. sleeping in the park Ooh. or something? No, no. Um, <laughs> uh, no, so my dad pissed me off one of the, one of the days. <laughs> and um, I went to school. And then I was so mad. I was so mad at him. And I was like, he can't tell me what to do. And I was like 15 years old. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to come home. I'm not going to say nothing. So I went to my to my best friends at that point house. And I was there the whole entire time. They called me. I did not answer the phone. <laughs> they were like yeah. looking for me. My sister knew where I was. But my sister was like, 
a faithful person and she did not say nothing to them. <laughs> so my sister was like, they're going crazy. They're going to call the police. Please come home. I was like, no, not going out. So I didn't go home. And then, I mean, eventually I answered the phone and, you know, they, they I actually went to L.A. too within that week. I went to L.A. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I went to L.A. with my cousin. I was like, hey, by the way. in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went with my cousin to L.A. And, um, yeah, I was in. I, I really got in trouble when I got home. But um, I felt bad afterwards, too, because I know they were really worried. But, yeah, I didn't go. I was. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> was okay. it worth it? Wow. I had a blast that week. <laughs> <laughs> I had fun. I went to LA. I went to actually Disneyland too. Jeez. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Yeah. How old were you? Fifteen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Wow, Dang. that's crazy. Wow. My mom says, this is karma, so you just watch until Weston is 15. Mm. I was like, don't say that, mom. Mm. Yeah, don't say that, mm. mom. I don't want that. Yeah, that's right. But I do. I did I did feel bad, though. <laughs> I did, because I know they were worried. But my sister knew where I was, so I think one of the family members knew that I was okay, that I was, you know, not, like, lost or something. But, yeah, I did feel bad, because that <laughs> was kind of mean for me to do to my parents. So that's yeah. probably one of the things I did. Great right. growth, Wendy. Yeah. 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 Now we can't get rid of you here. Is it? Like <laughs> 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 All right. What, what do you got, Rebecca? Well, first, I recently found out that my parents listen to this podcast. In oh. fact, they commented on the, the oatmeal story <laughs> <laughs> yesterday when I talked to them. They're like, I didn't put this in the oatmeal. It was actually uh, chocolate or something. Oh, my like, gosh. Oh, funny. <laughs> so, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't that rebellious. I know you can't, it's hard to tell off of my bad girl like exterior. <laughs> you got to leave the house to be rebellious. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I didn't, I mean, I definitely didn't run away for a week. Uh, one thing, and I mean, my parents know about this, so I guess it's okay if I say it. Uh, the first time I got drunk um, was after a school dance, and I was totally, like, I was that person who was like, I'm too smart for alcohol, because, you know, I didn't drink and other people did. So I chased it with Lucky Charms and soy sauce. <laughs> um, oh, God. What? Bacardi 151. <laughs> and, like, you know, I took, like, two or three shots, and it, it takes a while to hit, and I don't really know that, because I'm, I don't know, 15, 16 or something, I must have taken like four or five shots oh, no. within like oh, my God. 10 minutes. Oh, no. I'm like, oh, yeah, people are so dumb. We're getting drunk. And then I was just like on the floor. Wow. Crying. That's. And fortunately, my parents did not make me feel bad the next day. Like they kind of, you know, teased me. And then they, I think, got me a milkshake. So that was really Aww. nice of them. But I don't <laughs> think I drank again after that for a while. But, um, yeah, that's all I got. I didn't kind of wish I ran away now for a week. <laughs> oh my yeah, God. that's yeah. You win, you win the prize on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Katie, what about you? Well, I like Rebecca. Like I wasn't super rebellious as a kid either. I was super religious actually. Like mm. I was raised going to a Catholic school, and I really wanted to be a nun. And so it was all about like following the Ten Commandments. Like I was very much a rule follower, and I definitely remember one time. I was with my parents and we went to some shop and there was a store display that had all of these like shiny polished rocks and the rocks weren't even what was for sale, but I took one Ooh. and I put it in my pocket because I liked it and I got home and I just remember feeling so bad that I had stolen this polished rock yeah. that I threw it in the trash. <laughs> that was like my real Catholic rebellious act. Catholic guilt was real. I it's too was real. Catholic and that is also It's why so I real. And in fact, like I would say, yeah, when I was in high school was probably when I had like, was doing gymnastics at the time and the girls would get together and we would drink and we would go to this uh, dance club that had like a teen night mm. in our town and so i remember like feeling so crazy and drinking vodka and it was like vodka from a mug because <laughs> i remember it <laughs> and similarly to you like not knowing what the effect was going to be and then you know by the time you're at the club you're just dying yeah yeah that's okay so mike has just walked in and the question mike is what is the most rebellious thing you did as a child and I, I have an idea of uh, the story that I could suggest you share, but I'll let you choose. Oh, man. You got to speak in the mic. Yeah, do it. Yeah. And you might want to 
you know, sit well, down so we okay. can see you. <laughs> I don't know if it was rebellious, but uh, I guess it was. Not against my parents. Basically, I had a buddy that um, wanted to fake his report card. <laughs> and so uh, this is uh, back when... <laughs> <laughs> they just started coming out with like computer printed ones and it was really easy to fake and so we helped them fake it and then and then he started giving it to his friends and so he we all got in trouble for it wow <laughs> okay that you didn't like you got suspended yeah they wrote an article about you in the newspaper <laughs> yeah i gotta mention the newspaper it wasn't a whole article about me yeah. yes and <laughs> when you went to apply to yale yeah they found out about this yeah because you had to disclose it yeah <laughs> and that's why you didn't get in yeah so <laughs> wow yeah, yeah, but the good news is, <laughs> then I came to Cal. We wouldn't be here. Cal takes everyone. Okay. We wouldn't be. Here. <laughs> 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 they don't check. They, they don't check transcripts. They don't, they don't check. Yeah, <laughs> they don't do, they like don't do background checks, checks at Cal. Yeah, at least. yeah. <laughs> wow. Take the criminals yeah. and whatever. Oh. Maybe they're not allowed to. And you know, yeah, it's California. Yeah, Cal, you would have definitely right. gone to Yale. Your dad went to Yale, right? Yeah, yeah. But instead, you uh, went to Cal and, and lived next door to me. Yeah, and you know, helped us start this gym. So. Yeah. 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 Wow. Rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> All started with a fake report card. Yeah. 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 Wow. Mike is a gangster. Yeah. That was, he doesn't even tell that. Yeah. Mike is, Mike, you know, shady dealings, he will make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> if I was, you know, if I had the Walter White thing, he would be my uh. assistant. <laughs> he would be making sure that the whole business was structured and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, you know, I had a bunch of little things, but there was just this really fun, this funny story. I was like seven or eight or something. And um, I used to steal a lot of stuff from the store. So I'd go to, we'd go to, you know, whatever, like Target or whatever Target was at the time. And like, I would steal stuff and you're like seven. So you come home with a new toy and your parents are like, mm, what is this about? Like, you don't have money. I didn't buy this for you. You know, we're not, we don't have money for extra stuff. Why are you, how are you getting these toys? So my mom took me to the store and she kind of like caught me trying to steal something and was like really angry with me and you know just like smacked it out of my hand and put it down and then like for the rest of the trip i kept trying to steal that same <laughs> thing and <laughs> and eventually i did and i i like managed to put it in my pocket or whatever and my mom at the end when we left the store she's like empty your pockets and i pulled out all this shit oh. and <laughs> oh my God. she was so mad uh, yeah. I don't know if she'll remember that. I think that was the last time that she spanked me because when she spanked me, I was like, kind of like, this isn't, this isn't, this really hurt, mom. Like, <laughs> this is not teaching me a wow. lesson. <laughs> I'm going right back to that store. <laughs> uh, Mike, so since you joined us, uh, what has your, been your favorite moment from the podcast so far? Um, I, I've listened to a few of them and I think um, I like, I don't have a specific moment. I think, like, you guys always just get into these random discussions. Like last week, there was all the pie stuff, and I remember, I remember the pie, and I ate pie after dessert pie, dessert pizza actually dessert is pizza. what I meant. <laughs> dessert pizza after after um, swim meets too. It was like a thing we did. I don't know. So maybe delicious. it was just a thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> is that is it's just like a swim related thing or you just need so many calories that it's Maybe you just need so many calories. I don't think it was swim related. Yeah, we would go to this like pizza buffet place after swim meets. And then mm -hmm. like they had like dessert pizza and regular pizza and you just like ate whatever you wanted and like the dessert pizzas were good. It was like pizza crust with like pizza filling <laughs> with like pie filling in mm. it with and stuff. That's yeah. Legit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think uh Pizza buffet places are a thing that will ever happen again after no. the last two years. No. <laughs> after the last three years. All right. So if you could only eat, this is the last question, right? If you could only eat one item for every meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> oh, man. So just one, so like eggs, or are we talking like a pizza or a hamburger? Like, is it made? If or you, it if you, if you, if it's a hamburger, it has to be the same every time. You can't, if it's a pizza, it has to be the same every time. You can't be like, oh, I'll have a dessert pizza and a breakfast pizza. And, a, you know, you can't do that. No. Does it need to be healthy? I know what. I know what Rebecca's answer is. I can tell you Rebecca's answer. That's my answer. I mean, I have it, but what is it? I mean, it? oatmeal with blueberry oh muffin God, protein. It. It's the thing she looks forward to every day. Oh, she dreams about it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, you could put a thought bubble thing, yeah. and it would be yeah. the oatmeal. Yeah. Because, yes, that is it. She watches, she watches the show. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> or she just sits <laughs> uh, Alright, no one else has an answer? I figured this would be an easy one. <clears throat> Nothing, huh? How about right. AJ? Well, La- yeah, lasagna. Yeah, um, lasagna. Oh, yeah. It's, it's tacos. Yeah. Tacos for me. What kind of tacos? Carne asada tacos. Okay. What kind of lasagna for you, Jay? Just beef? <laughs> I actually, I actually have pork sausage in there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's the lasagna that Tina makes once a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Christina, is it the lunch that you had today? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I put these gifted hands. <laughs> I, I can't. I'm, I'm not one of those people who can eat the same thing over and over again. Like, That's this not is the a question. Really I know. It's not, <laughs> but it's it's not a question is. of what kind of person you are. It's I, uh, it's you have to pick something. I know, but I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna pick something for you then. What's it gonna be for oh Christina? Oh my gosh. Croissants. <laughs> Done. You got croissants, Christina. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Should have made a choice. Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> I was thinking. Oh, I know. Chicken breast. Oh. Mm. You know what? Okay, I have my answer. Okay. Okay. Chicken soup. I could have chicken soup every day. Oh, I love that's chicken. pretty good. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I was, it's funny. The thing that came to mind was a really good uh, fried chicken sandwich. Mm. Mm. But I, and then I was like, well, I haven't had one in like a couple of years because it's just <laughs> unhealthy. Yeah. <laughs> but I could see eating like, it's just like, it's got crunch, it's got protein, it's got like, yeah. Yeah. Is there a yeah, sauce on it? Um, probably like a jalapeno, like coleslaw. Wow. What kind of bread? Um, <laughs> toasted brioche. Ooh, yeah. that sounds really good. All right. Oh, that sounds really good. Well, really well breaded, like really well fried, like fat, like chicken breasts yeah oh, that, that sounds like the best one yeah. all right yeah i don't know i would probably go like for the if it was like a meal and i was concerned about like my well-being i would probably go like enchiladas something like that mm. i could eat enchiladas all the time Ooh, with like shrimp yeah um if it were just like purely for pleasure i would probably go well you know jelly beans Jelly beans have like 52 flavors, so that's not going to get old very quickly. And I love jelly beans. I hate jelly beans. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Love of jelly, jelly beans. beans. The grapefruit <laughs> jelly bean? Oh, sorry. I was going to say there's a jelly bean factory. Yeah. Yeah, it's just down the road there actually. No. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I, it's yep, the, the, jelly jelly, the jelly yeah. belly factory. It's actually yeah. my yeah. my exit yeah. to the get home. Jelly belly factory? Yeah. 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 Yo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Team outing. It's like going out to my to my house. So yeah. I used to eat so many jelly beans as a kid that my sister, my younger sister, would play this game where she would pull one out of the bag and eyes closed, oh. I would have to eat it and tell her what flavor it was. And I was like 99% accurate. Wow. wow. That is a hidden okay. talent that you should have yeah. told us about oh, as well. Oh, shoot. Well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we've gotten to know the coaches. I appreciate you all joining. I appreciate you all for being a part of the 100 episodes that we've done uh, this is just kind of a fun one. We'll go back to the to the real the real stuff next week. Um, but it, w- did we get everyone's favorite moments? No, we got everyone. All right, all right, there was one more, probably my favorite moment of the entire podcast, and you could probably guess what it is. This moment right here, where we're all together. Oh no, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was two weeks ago. Katie wasn't here. Three weeks ago, and Wendy said Jay was right. Uh, (laughs) and with that we will end the podcast appreciate y'all we'll see you Uh, next time bye bye. (laughs) thanks for tuning in if you like this episode we've got plenty of others go check out this one over here